here with the Freedom Mischief Minnow. This is a brand new category of topwater bait. Really different than anything else out there in the market. We call this a clacking topwater bait. What makes it so special is this blade that's attached in the middle of the lure. So what that does on your retrieve is it, it spins and hits the body, hits the rear hook, makes a real loud clacking sound. But that also drives a really unique action in this bait. It causes the body to roll back and forth and the body will also hunt. So on your retrieve, stop and go, steady retrieve, you can do a lot of different stuff with this new bait. Uh, we've got 15 really killer finishes on these baits. Japanese eyes, uh, comes with razor sharp, gamagatsu, short shank, treble hooks. Uh, it comes with a little snap in the package. Uh, you can tie direct if you like, you can use the snap. It's a pretty versatile little bait. The Mischief Minnow is going to come in a three and a half inch version and a four and a half inch version. Basically what you want to do is, is match the size of the forage you're fishing or the species you're fishing for. Smallmouth tend to love a, an aggressive small bait, largemouth like that bigger, larger profile. The Mischief Minnow comes with a re really unique blade. We've, we've custom shaped it. It's kind of flatter on one side, rounder on the other side. So that'll hit the, the rear hook at, at different speeds and cause the body to roll out, uh, changes the flash. So some of these baits are going to come with silver, painted blades, black metal, gold. So, so we really tried to match the blade to the paint job to, to give that overall appearance that really attracts the fish. What makes the Mischief Minnow unique is you can do a lot of different retrieves with this bait. So I usually start off with a standard retrieve, just a straight, straight wind, maybe a couple small pulls with your rod tip. That bait just kind of hunts side to side, rolls, you get the clanking of the blade. Uh, that's one of the ones I usually start off with first to see how the fish react to that, and then I try a few others. So the next one I like to do when I'm trying to be a little more aggressive with the bait, we'll give it some, some harder snaps with the rod tip. What that does is the bait darts forward, that blade actually sprays water up, looks like little minnows busting on the surface, so it gives a real commotion that the, the bass just really can't resist. Let's see if they want it a little more aggressively, is I'll give the rod tip some sharp snaps, what that does is causes the bait to dart side to side. The blade sprays water. It looks like a little school of fish busting on the surface. It really makes it irresistible. Sometimes you need to kick it up a notch when the fish are being a little more lethargic. I'll give you my rundown on my bait casting setup. Uh, what I like to throw these on is 30 pound braid. A little thinner diameter is gonna give you a, a lot longer uh, cast, but also allow the lure to really do its, its side to side and, and, and dance. And then the no stretch braid is going to help you with that hook set. Uh, I like to throw it on a little bit longer rod. Uh, this is a 7.6 extra medium heavy. Uh, it's actually my chatter bait rod. Uh, so it's, it's a great long, long rod, gives you a little bit longer cast, helps you pick up that slack line when, when the fish hits the bait. You can also go like a 7.2 or a 7.4, uh, it would be great setup for that as well. Uh, gear ratio, I like the 6.2 or 7.2. Uh, I find the 8.2, you just work the bait a little bit too fast. This is the uh, three and a half inch version. So ten, I tend to throw this one on a spinning setup. So what I've got here is a Halo Rod Black Widow. It's a seven foot medium heavy. I like the little heavier rod. I've got 20 pound braid with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I like that heavier setup when I'm throwing it in a top water bait. Those, those fish are have really aggressive strikes and it helps you really set the hook when you've got that little bit stronger setup. Uh, medium heavy action, uh, 2,500 size reel. Uh, just a great setup for that mischief minnow. So this is a great bait when those fish are busting bait on the surface. You can actually fish it nice and slow through the school, which you can't do with a lot of other topwater baits. So it gives you a big advantage when you're on those busting schools. Another one of my favorite retrieves, I call it the hard reel, where you're, you're kind of just giving your reel a real snap. And that causes that bait to jump, pop, dart side to side. Just a real different look that the fish hadn't seen before. So one of the things I like to do when I'm being a little more finessey is I let that bait sit there for a few seconds, let the rings dissipate, and then I give it a twitch or two, let it sit there, that blade kind of falls and dangles down. I do a couple more times and then I can start my retrieve. A lot of times you'll get that strike when that bait is paused. <laughs> 